Good day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And today we've got episode 3 of Attack from Zarus, parts 1 and 2, Decker F10294, A Space Adventure of the Future, written by John Blyton, with Harold Smart at the organ. Maybe we'll find out what happened. Here we go. Chief Engineer, Sergeant Bendix and several of the crew escape into the giant spaceship's hangar through the hole they had made in the wall of their prison, Captain Conquest and Lieutenant Carter are marched away by the guards. Wonder where they're taking us, sir? To be questioned, I expect. I don't know how they're going to do it, though, unless someone speaks English. Pretty certain the guards don't, sir. All they've done so far is to hiss at us. Either that or they're playing dumb. So, hey! Mara secure some meals. Hello, looks like we're going to see someone important, judging by all the guards everywhere. Trafis, see so hoy de sororis va. Seis vesparos suscas. Face around, spies. Dick, I have an idea we're in for an unpleasant surprise. Captain Conquest is right. Passing through heavily guarded doors, they enter a vast hall. It is quite dark and completely empty, except at the far end, where there is an enormous flat-lit desk behind which sits a brilliantly uniformed creature. I am the ruler of Zaros, a great planet many light years away. My scout ships have secretly investigated your world and I shall add it to my empire after I have conquered Mars. The red ship was one of the few the Martians possessed. They sent it in a foolish attempt to warn your world. What do you know about the Martians? I didn't know there were any. You lie. You will soon learn about them, for my ships are being prepared for a final attack on Mars. And you and your men will go in one of them to see how useless it is to defy their attack. Suppose the Martians win. Silence. My ships are invincible. When I demand your world surrender, you will tell your people how foolish it is to resist me. I shall tell them to fight to the end. You are a fool, Earthman. My ships leave for Mars in two hours' time. You will change your mind after you have seen them in action. That is all. Captain Conquest and Lieutenant Carter are marched back to their prison. Now the captain tells his men what has happened, and he has bad news for Lieutenant Chang. We wondered what had happened, because after you had gone, the guards recognized the Martian survivor and took him away. Any idea where they took him? No, sir. That's bad. I have an idea how we escape and destroy this ship, and we shall have time to rescue him first. Any sign of Sergeant Bendix or the others in the hangar? No, sir. They have disappeared. Sir, listen. Here, quick, man. Uncover that hole. Bendix here, sir. We got those blasters, and we found an armory to the right. The others are hiding in there now. With three small blasters. Fine. Here, cut it. Chang, grab these. Hardly anyone in the hangar now, sir. The ship seemed ready for action, just waiting for the crews. Right, now they'll chance to seize the hangar. Look out, sir! The guards are coming! Right, on to the other side. That organist is still with them, isn't he? Russian guards march down the corridors to the crew's prison, Captain Conquest issues swift orders. Bendix, get back to the others and hold that armor at all costs. Yes, sir. You men cover that hole. Carter, Chang, get behind that door. When the guards come in, I'll distract their attention. When I yell, knock them out. If you can't, shoot and don't miss. Yes, sir. sir. Sales! Sales! Sorry, friend. I don't understand. And anyway, I hurt my foot. Look. Hmm? Now, Dick! Uh, oh. Good, you got both of them. Lock that door, 
Chang. Right, sir. I've got the blaster, sir. Right, stand back from that hole, men. You three tie those guards up. Right, sir. Yes. Carter, Chang, the three of us will get into the hangar and contact the others. Melina? Yeah. Stay here with the rest until I contact you. Take this blaster and sit tight. Yes, sir. Come on, you two. Throw into the hangar. Right. Come on, hurry it up. Come on, move. Right. We're in the shadow here. There's nobody about. There's, there's someone waving, sir. It's Bendix. Come on. I'm here, sir. Quick. Lieutenant Dawson here, sir. We're in luck. This place is full of blasters and bombs. Good. Lieutenant Chang, go and get the others. Be quick and quiet. Right, sir. Now then, everyone. Here's my plan. It's the only hope we've got. As soon as the others are here and armed, we'll split into two parties. Lieutenant Carter will take one party along the left side of the hangar, and I'll take the other party along the right side. What if we meet anyone, sir? Try and dodge them. If you're seen, they'll shoot. But whatever happens, leave two men covering every entrance to the hangar. Stop anyone getting in, you understand? Yes, sir. How about the motion, sir? Nothing we can do, I'm afraid. He might be anywhere. Everyone here now, sir? Right. Every man is to take a blaster and two small bombs. Hurry. Now, come on, hurry it up. May I make a suggestion, sir? Go ahead. All the ships are mounted on launching rails, so we have to take the one near the airlock. That's the one over there. About a hundred yards away from us, huh? As soon as we have gained control of the hangar, I will place two of those atomic warheads under the launching trolley of the ship behind. So as they take off after us, they blow the place to bits, huh? That's it, sir. Fine. Right, now listen, men. As we shall be scattered all over the hangar, we'll keep in touch with our suit radios. Don't seal your helmets until I give the order. We must save air, okay? Right, 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 right. Remember, that's the ship we want. When I give the order, we treat to it as fast as you can. How are we going to open the airlock, sir? Blast it open with the ship's guns as soon as we're aboard. Right, let's go. Keeping in touch by radio, the two parties are circling the hangar when suddenly an alarm bells start ringing and through an unguarded door runs a lone figure pursued by guards. Bendix, that's the Martian. We must save him. Open fire on the guards, men! Oh dear. Alas, that is the last record I have of this set, viewers. Obviously there were more originally. Hopefully we'll find them soon. Thank you, viewers, and bye.